What's good, YouTube? It is your boy Chris, and I'm back at it again with another banger video. And you already know what I am react to, y'all. Um, starting off, uh, not starting off, but you already know we. I had, I had to hit the beginner's guide. You did what I mean. So I can get to know everybody, and so I can. So I honestly, so I can know the group, man. I'm being honest, so I can know the group. Cause I'm getting sick and tired of being like, oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I might still be doing it because there's nine of them. Let's not let's not forget that there's nine of them. But oh yeah, let's get straight into it. So I just want to say, if you are new to this channel, go and hit the subscribe button, man. Y'all don't understand the family has been getting the family has been growing every single day. I want to say I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for everything. We are on the road to. 10k you dig what i mean go and hit the subscribe button come join the family if you want to for a little bit here posting legit every day no cap and legit three videos a day but yeah i'm doing way too much video um whoa doing way too much talking let's go okay bless you <laughs> oh my gosh twice <laughs> Here's a math problem for you. 16 women compete on a reality show for seven spots in one girl group. In the end, oh. nine women are chosen to form the group. Is this group's name 16, 7, or 9? Trick question. It's twice. The group's name is twice. Try not to overthink it. In fact, there's a lot about twice that you shouldn't overthink. Why are they called twice? Are they in love with an alien? Are they in love with each other? Are they possibly dead and or ghosts? It doesn't matter. It's pop. And twice believes in the power of pop. Their infectious commitment to pop music in all its forms has made them the highest selling K-pop girl group ever. What? And fur. Ever? The highest selling k Who's it? Who's this? S S N S D. SES pop girl group Korean oh Korean album sale so these I'm guessing these other groups I'm guessing I don't know ever ever read my lips Twice's story begins in 2015 when they debuted under the JYP Entertainment Company Twice was formed on a survival TV show kind of like The Voice but they made a group instead of a solo artist. You get it. On the reality show 16, nine JYP Entertainment trainees were voted off until just seven remained. Then, in a shocking and controversial turn of events, two eliminated contestants were saved and added back into the winning group. These nine women became known as Twice. That's crazy. By the way, Twice is called Twice because they will charm you twice, once with their beauty and once with their catchy music. Yeah. It barely makes any sense, but it definitely makes more sense than our first. I cute a butt, bro. She wants with her catchy hey, music. It barely. Hey. But it definitely makes more sense than my first theory, which was that the members were grouped into pairs based on their talents. But that leaves one member out the leader, Gio. <laughs> Twice got some early attention because A, their reality show aired on a major Korean TV channel and B, JYP Entertainment was already famous for producing hugely successful K-pop girl groups. Anybody ever hear of The Wonder Girls? Oh, how about Miss A? These are huge shoes to fill, people. If you're American and you're watching this video and our channel analytics say that you probably are, then the idea of a nine-member group is probably intimidating to you. Historically, American pop has never focused on a large boy or girl group. Five is as big as we go yeah. in the States. Anything beyond that is just American Idol on the pop parts tour. Group. There's definitely a learning curve when it comes to large groups. So, many of you. so we're gonna help put names to faces as we break down who's who in twice. Let's do it. Nyan is the oldest member of Twice. She is known as the face of the group because of her seniority, her wide range of talents, and her extremely outgoing personality. Nyan sings most of Twice's choruses, starts most of Twice's songs, and generally sums up what Twice is all about. We love Nyan because she's a nut. Okay. It seems like almost everything Nyan does subverts the normal expectations for female K-pop idols. And it's really awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and that's Awesome. awesome. Nyan is a woman who makes decisions. She decides what to wear, she decides what to say, and she doesn't let anyone put her in a box. I like her! Jungyeon is the girl crush of Twice that broke the mold. Until recently, fans could easily describe Jungyeon as the one with the short hair. This was not an accident. Most images in pop music are premeditated, and Jungyeon's role as the tomboy of Twice was chosen for her. <laughs> 
아 진짜? 나 여성스러운 거 회사에서 별로 안 좋아해. 난 좋아. But after years of playing her part, Jonghyun took control of her self-image. Jonghyun has proved that there is room for authenticity in the public eye. She has always been brave enough to speak up and share the truth with her fans and her fellow members. Momo is the main dancer in Twice. I like sure, they all dance, but Momo's abilities are special. <laughs> Momo has been nicknamed the dancing machine because of her insane ability to learn any choreography faster than you can say pink Lamborghini. Pink Lamborghini. Seriously, it's like she's programmed to do it. Made in Japan. We love Momo because she's pretty much like a human sim. She always seems to be one step behind every single situation and it's the most relatable thing ever. <laughs> Momo is one of three Japanese members in Twice. Sana is the cutest member of TWICE. Actually, she may just be the cutest human alive, I don't know. Sana's innocent charm and Disney princess disposition have captured the general public's attention more times than she said the phrase shy, shy, shy. <laughs> that was a viral line of Sana's that was in TWICE's song, Cheer Up. To this day, it is the most famous bit of TWICE's charm, and it has been imitated countless times. It's wow. She's beautiful. Oh, they all are, but like, jeez. Easy for us jaded adults to assume that Sana's happy-go-lucky personality is a part of her manufactured public image. But if you stick with Twice, you will see that this woman's sunshiny view on life exists both on camera and in struggle. Gio is the leader of Twice. If Nyon is the face of the group, Gio is the voice. This means she usually speaks for the group in press events. But Gio also has the strongest voice in the group and hits just about every big note they have. For example, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! After 16, the members unanimously voted Gio as their leader because of her skills and her uniquely long period of training. We love Gio because she cares. She cares whether or not the staff members are treated as fairly as the stars. And she cares for her fellow members. She's Let's be nice. honest, we need more Gios in the world. Yes. She's very nice. Please. Especially to care about the people that's behind the cameras. Like, you know what I mean? So nice. So nice. And, uh... I forgot what I was about to say. We don't do ads. You already know. Mina might just be the most introverted idol in all of K-pop. <laughs> Before Twice, Mina trained as a ballerina for 11 years. Oh, which yeah. explains her nickname. Black Swan. We love Mina because she embodies elegance. From the way she speaks. Oh, thank you. To the way she sings. To the way she walks and dances. It's clear that Mina was a queen in a past life. Diane is well known for many things. Her viral eagle dance, her camera spotting ability, her piano playing, her rapping skills, and her superhuman ability to change her hair color at any time without warning. What binds all these traits together is a completely unique sense of humor. One that can make Twice laugh quicker than anything. She had a funny one in the world. The goofy, the goofy one. We love Diane because of her individuality. There is no one that thinks like her, acts like her, or dances like her. She is, in one word, irreplaceable. You're irreplaceable. To the left, to the left. Higher. To the left, to the left. Put me in a video with them next. Come on now. That'll be a nice look. definition of a renaissance woman. She raps, she sings, she dances, she paints, she draws, she writes poetry. And has penned the most lyrics for Twice songs out of any member. We love Chae Young because she is fearless. One second she's spitting bars, the next she's painting. Oh wait, now she's vlogging. She's not afraid to express herself and to try something new. Especially when it comes to being a gosh darn fashionista. <laughs> Chewie is the ultimate dichotomy in Twice. She is the youngest member of the group, or the mock name, which usually means she would be sweet and helpful. However, Chewie has the nickname Evil Mock Name because. Uh, okay. Quincy! Oh, 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 o
bitch is crazy. We love Chewie because she's a woman of contradictions. She could have easily hidden behind her good looks her entire career because people really care about her beauty. But Chewie has said that she would like to become well known for her talents instead. Watching Chewie grow from a timid teenager tossed into fame to a confident performer and teammate is the most inspiring transformation in Twice. And look out when she is performing Not Dance the Night Away. She will hurt you. <sighs> So now you've met each member of Twice. Now let's talk about how they went from here to here. Okay, Twice let's do this. Talk about it. With their second single, Cheer Up. Cheer Up was bigger than a hit. It was a sensation. It was so big that it catapulted Twice to the title of Korea's national girl group. This title was previously given to Girls' Generation, aka the best-selling group of the previous K-pop generation. Tiffany, y'all heard of Tiff? From there, everything Twice touched. Hey, y'all, uh, is it is it bad? I don't know who that is. <laughs> is it bad? I don't know who that is, bro. Or I is it bad? K pop generation. Tiffany. Y'all heard of Tip. Who I'm gonna have to react to I'm gonna have to react okay, just drop videos down in the comment section for your boy. Anything. You know what I mean? But I'm Okay. If from there, everything twice touched turned to gold. And by gold, I mean number one hits, baby. Deal breakers. They sparked viral dance crazes, successfully crossed over into the Japanese market, and won song of the year at the Mnet Asian Music Awards three years in a row, which secured their place in K-pop history in less time than it took me to graduate from college. Oh They're icons, God. baby. At its core, the most universal pop music doesn't overthink things. It is instinctual, performance-based, and tons of fun. Twice's hyper-feminine concepts have dominated the marketplace for almost four years because they are ambitious, relatable, and fun. However, Twice's cultural impact is often limited to nothing more than the term cutesy. And there's no denying it, they are very cute, yes. But Twice's story does not begin or end with being cute. Bottom line is this, being hyper-feminine is not shameful. It is just as valid as other forms of expression. Let's sum it up this way. To listen to Twice's music is to follow the story of a woman growing up and retaining her childlike passion. She hopes to find love and then falls for someone that breaks her heart. Afterwards, she takes control of her own story. No more waiting around for an answer. Twice have already chosen the ending to their story. Shoot, collab, collab with Twice next? Do a little reaction video with them. I got some questions to ask. Thank you so much for making that video for my group. It is so nice of you. Um, don't touch my hair. <laughs> it is so nice of you guys to do that. That was all really sweet and all. Um, but you got everything wrong. Okay, what's true? Here's the truth. Twice as great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, Please subscribe. Please donate. But, um, uh, that was a good video. So now I have to remember all of that and dissect it and really listen. So what I need y'all to do, go on and drop some videos that you react to. You did what I mean? Help your boy out. Um, I thank y'all. I love y'all so, so, so much. I thank y'all for everything. And yeah, don't forget to be you. Be great. And continue on following your dreams. Come join the family. Yeah, I'm out. Peace.